Hey friends, welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Very good to have you here. Today we got Cremo Silver Water and Birch. I picked this up from Target. They're about 22-ish. I have everything in this series except one that's about seven or eight bottles. Now the Cree here, Silver Mountain Water, it has been compared to this. All right, so it's gonna be a pretty quick review or comparison about this two. The Cremo, the bottle is the same everything. Um, I gotta say though, you see a lot of juice missing. I think there's two or three bottles from the house that I'm having uh, issue with this where this evaporates. I think the problem is from the uh, the lackluster uh, this head, the, you know, the atomizer. I don't know if it's been leaking. I can see a leak, but it for sure is evaporating. Uh, I have uh, three or four bottles with the same issue, which is uh, sucks. But then you know they're twenty twenty one dollars. You know, I could pick up more. It is really really good though. I, I'm not like super good, but it's really really good for the price that we're talking about, and that's why I picked up almost everything. Except one, I have to. You know what? Let me just go and buy the other one, so I, so I can say I have everything in this series. Now, um, Target is a store, kind of like Walmart, okay. But I think just a bit better, okay. Now, the Cree here, like I said, is uh, being compared to, so Silver Mon water. I tested for the past couple of days on my arms. I actually also asked a friend, a lady friend, from a lady's perspective. It's gonna be. She said, first of all, it's going to be 40% similar. Second, the Cree is super green. That's what she picked up, like total greenness as if you're walking on green grass. While the Cremo, she does not get that aspect. Right? The other thing is she said the Cremo is very, very light. I sprayed three or four times on my arm and she, she says super light. She could hardly pick it up. She was like trying to find it on my arm. While Cree, she says so strong and it's pungent. And she did not like it. She did not like either of this. Okay. <laughs> I said, which one is the least? Uh, okay. Uh, just a bit better or likable. She said, Cremo. I asked her, which one smells more expensive? She says, Cremo. And I told her that it is, Cree is 20 times more expensive than, I'm sorry, 10 times, not 20, but 10 times more expensive for what I picked up. And she was shocked. She liked Cremo better because it's not as strong as pungent to her is pungent which i don't understand <laughs> i thought it's very pleasant even though it's not one of my favorites um but it's not to the point of being pungent but uh, you know every nose is different right now for reference she does not wear fragrance um she doesn't you know uh, know anything about fragrance so i just thought to get a beginner's perspective now I do agree with her that the Cree, I think, is more green, while Cremo, I think, is more blue. Okay, I take it in the blue direction. I do get the metallic more on the silver water and birch, and I do get the birch part. Okay, It is more, yeah, more blue, the, the birch coming through, and the woods. Okay, And just a tad of greenness. I do get some greenness. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you get the flavor of the greenness. While Silver Mountain Water is, is total green. I think it's from the the green leaf and also petty green. And there's black currants and bergamot and so forth. But I gotta tell you, because the Cremo is a lot lighter than Creed, and I was able to pick up more stuff from Creed. It's not because it's more expensive and my mind's playing tricks on me. It's not that. Is that when you're sitting with it and you're kind of doing back and forth, smelling both, yeah, then you could tell that Cree is more compact, many more stuff going on inside in the ingredients, okay? And sometimes I think that Cremo is good, even though it lacks the complexity, but then it's perfectly suitable for the simplicity that it's trying to carry across, okay? So there are times that you don't always want to be complicated. So for this case, I think, you know, if we, we're standing on top of a silver mountain, and it was smelling the water coming through, right? And I'm sure there's some greenness all around. You know, it's it's nice, but in the warm weather like this is made made for, uh, I tend to like this simple stuff. Okay, I, I like something not as complicated, especially on the high heat. Uh, silver water would be a lot better than the silver mountain. Okay? Now they're not hiding it; they they're trying to um, 
uh, copy even the name the first three letters Cremo and Creed C-R-E right they're not shy about what they're trying to copy I think there are maybe one or two others that's copying you know the Creed but anyway with that said they're doing a wonderful job 60% similar to my nose 60 or 70 yeah I mean I've been digging into my arm uh, trying to find out the details but like I said the most simplest way to uh, summarize it is it's more green it's more blue yeah but there's also some greenness but there's something that I have to say Cremo smells a little bit more soapy than Creed I don't pick up that soapiness. Um, they're able to uh, do it so that it doesn't smell as if like shower gel. Well, Cremo, it does have that. I gotta say. Now, like I said, I don't. I forgot if I mentioned that longevity is about six or seven hours or even eight on the Creed, while Cremo is about four or five. Now, all the opinions are real. It's not because uh, I picked it up more. You know, this is ten times the price. It's not that. I, I don't care about those. So whatever it is, I'll tell you, okay? I'm picking up more um, citrus on the Creed. While the Creed mode, not really. I'm smelling right now too. It's about 20 minutes since I first sprayed it. And then the difference is more obvious now. The complexity is a lot more in Creed. Uh, this is one of those cases I think is, it is very obvious. Um, Creed is um, it's better. Okay, for sure. Now, the, the lady friend, she said she hated the creed because it was pungent. And it was so strong. <laughs> it was coming out projecting really, really much. Even though I put about five spray for Cremo, about three spray for creed. And yet, creed is still coming out stronger. So, anyway, since in case you're not familiar with, um, you know, this, any of this. Basically, the review is for Cremo. So, I got to mention something about it instead of just a comparison. So part two right now, it's, so you're going to get some soapiness, um, some blue, some green for this cremo, some birch and woodiness, just a bit, some metallic, okay, there's a vibe to it. Metallic meaning basically you smell the cold metal, that's, that's the vibe a little bit, a little bit of a freezing effect, just a tiny bit, okay, yeah. A bit of a sweetness coming through as well on both, but I think Cree is sweeter to my nose. While my lady friend picked up the greenness a lot more uh, on the Creed, while I picked up evenly, okay, not not as strong as she uh, as as she she did. Now I think this is both leaning very unisex, and I think the age would be any age. It's super versatile. Anybody can wear this too. Very easy going, extremely non-offensive. It works well for both the cold and the warm weather. The the Creed, I think both. I would love to use this on the um, colder weather. I think it will come through very well. It has a freezing effect that I always enjoy. All right. So this is very versatile. That's the best way to, to describe it. You know, if you want something that you don't have to think about, easy going anywhere, anytime, just grab it, especially for this cremo. Now I mentioned the, the soapy effect. Soapy effect. It's not so strong, but it is there. And yet, that is a cleanness to it. So, soapy does not necessarily mean it's bad. It just means, you know, feel fresh, feel nice, and feel clean. That's what it is. All right, then. I think that's about it. Um, it's not too complicated, especially this Cremo. Cree is, is a lot more complicated, for sure. Yeah, I did not really think that much about it until, until I was doing side by side. Then a lot of stuff starting to you know show itself, the differences. So with that said, uh, yeah. Uh, the last thing I have to say is, I often say I don't like to do comparisons because usually it would demolish the um, less expensive one and it ruins it for me where I would not enjoy as much as before and this is absolutely the case I was really enjoying silver water and birch on my desk uh, especially during this summer I didn't think about it I just put it there and I'll spray on and you know a spot in my arm and I'll just be working enjoying it and I thought it's pretty good you know it's like a copy of uh, silver mountain water I didn't think too much of it until these two days, the more I compare it, especially the thought about the soapiness got into my head and darn it, 
now it's going to take time for me to forget about it and to be able to enjoy it on its own. So it is true that when people tell you, hey, don't compare your life with others. Just enjoy it the best you can and be grateful for what you have. Just don't think the neighbor's lawn is a lawn. Don't think about the neighbor's car, their houses, their lawn, their family, and everything like that. Just enjoy what you have. This is absolutely the case this time as well, where I was perfectly fine with this cremo until I compare it now. Yeah, I need time to like brainwash myself and start from scratch. Okay, it's the truth. Okay. All right, then. I hope that is helpful. As always, thumbs up, subscribe. I think it helps me out on the YouTube. Uh, algorithm. As always, see you next time.